So students, if you were here at TAFE doing the three day stairs block, the afternoon of the first day, you would do two set out exercises on plywood to give you practice at setting out stringers. The second of these is the closest one to the practical job. So what you would be given is a plan of the stairs telling you that the rise of the flight is 11.34, the going of the flight is unrestricted. You would be told that the margins have to be equal. You'd be given stringer size, 290 by 45, treads the same, 290 by 45, and you would be told the newels are 90 by 90. The toe of the stringer runs past the lowest riser by half a newel thickness. Similarly at the top, where the top riser comes to the deck, the horn also runs past the going by half a newel. So when we do the maths, we discover using a trial riser of 160, we end up with seven risers at 162. We get six goings at 290. Remember, if the going is unrestricted, the easiest thing to do is to use the size of treads that 290 as the going of step. We'll calculate the margin to be 55 and the going of the flight comes out at 1740. To set the stringer out, there are two other numbers that are good to calculate that will add to the accuracy of your set out. These two are this distance first. I'm going to call it distance A. Distance A is the nosing to nosing distance. If I draw this triangle in, see we have a right angle triangle. That length is the going of the step, 290. That distance is the rise of the step, 162. So I can calculate distance A by Pythagoras. So distance A square root of 162 squared plus 290 squared. If I put that through my calculator, I'll end up with 332.2. Now, this second distance goes from the lowest nosing to the nosing at the deck. It's that distance there. Okay, because there are six goings, that distance is six times distance A. So if I want to calculate that distance, which I'm going to call distance B, So six times the number of goings times that distance A, that gives me a distance of 1993. I'll now go to the workshop and endeavour to set out this stringer. So gentlemen, it's time to set out the stringer. 
Here I am with my stringer set horizontally, uh, but in the vertical plane. If you remember from our previous calculations, we calculated we needed a 55 mil margin. We need seven rises at 162, six goings at 290, and we calculated the uh, nosing to nosing distance as 332.2. So the first thing I'm going to do is set out my margins. So they're set at 55 mil. I've set up my combination square at 55. I'm going to try to look smooth and, and send those lines on top and bottom of the stringer. So there's my top and bottom margin lines. I'm going to start the set out approximately 100 mil in. So I'm going to mark a point 100 mil in from the edge. But let's go to that point. Make sure I don't run into my writing. That's my zero position. Now, using this increment, I'm going to set out all the corners of the uh, of the nosings onto the onto that margin line. You can use a builder square with the brass buttons, but I find them difficult when setting out stairs. For stairs, I prefer to use the building square with a fence. So I need the marks that are going to be the corners of my, of my nosings. I'm going to ask Paul to hold the zero on here, like that, and I'm going to put into my calculator. Hello, boys. <laughs> 332.2 equals answer plus 332.2. If you remember in an earlier video, I showed you how to do it on the iPhone, which I think is easier, but this method also works. So Paul's holding zero. I'm going to mark 332.2. So 332.2 is there. I want a line that goes above and below my, nose, uh, my margin line. If I press equals, I'll get the next increment. 664.4. Six six one. Nineteen ninety three. Thanks, Paul. So now, with the builder square set up like this, I can use it either way around. I'm going to run it on the top margin of the stringer, and I'm going to set one sixty two and two ninety on the tongue and the blade not to the edge of the timber, but to the margin line. Now, I've already prepared this one earlier, so when I bring that along there, I've got 162, it's hitting the mark. 290 is hitting the mark here. Pretty close, could nudge it up a little bit. I think we'll see how we go. So I'm gonna mark rise and going of step. There's my rise. 
There's my going. And I can keep jumping it along. It's reassuring that the marks hit these set out points as I go. Remember, if you are making a small mistake, perhaps only one mil per step, and we could have potentially 18 rises in the flight, there's 18 mil of error. Obviously it would increase the more error you're getting per step. This guarantees that you are not having a creeping error. So I've got to that point. Have I got the seven rises? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got one more riser to bring me down to ground level. Let's put that one in. So this line here is the ground level or the bottom of our stairs where we've landed. So I can extend that line through because that's where I've got to cut it off when I'm building the stairs. Okay, at the top I need to produce the hook or the horn that's going to attach it to our deck. Initially I'm going to use a light line. I'm going to draw a light line across there, like this. This is a level line that's going to land on the deck. Now, we need to make that distance half the newel thickness. Our newels are 90 mil. So I'm going to go 45 mil across there. Put a light mark. That's where I'm going to produce the horn. So again, I can take the square. I can cut across there. I can take that line to the top because that's where I'm going to cut timber. I'm also going to cut the timber straight through here to the bottom. So let's put that also on. So there's the top done. At the toe we're leaving also 45 mil, half the newel thickness. So let's put that on. Cutting this off, this off, and cutting this off, like that. All I need now to do is put the treads. The treads are 45 mil thick, so I'm going to measure each thickness and put them on with the square. Run the square upside down from the bottom. Let's see how we went.
So those are my treads. is now ready to be cut with the circular saw and trenched out with the router. 